What's up everybody and welcome to the Tech Morning Asia show, your number one source of tech news all around Asia. I'm Gloria and I'm your host, reporting live from Tencent, we start. This week is all about Hong Kong and all major pillars that drive innovation and change. So, <laughs> stay tuned. Start Me Up Festival 2019. Celebrate the best of tech innovation in the world's most exciting city. The top hot picks from Start Me Up Hong Kong. Air Luna, the lamp that breathes, killed it at Jumpstarter and Kaleidoscope Lab competition. Make it happen, make it Hong Kong. A loud promise kept by Invest Hong Kong this year with Start Me Up Festival, an initiative helping founders scale with the goal to promote Hong Kong as a distinct startup destination. With over 17,000 delegates and more than 300 speakers, including Stephen Phillips, Director General of Investment Promotion and the Executive Vice Chairman of Alibaba Group, Mr. Joe Tai, as well as presenters and panelists, the festival event brought an electrifying combination of content and renowned speakers. These events consisted of Health Tech O2O Summit, Tech Lifestyle Conference, Retail's Cutting Edge, Jumpstarter, the Connected Cities Conference, AI and Education Conference, Startup Impact Summit, and so much more. The fact that we are in the center of the Greater Bay Area, which is going to be the biggest innovation hub in the world in the next five to 10 years, is very exciting. BeFast TV got an exclusive interview with the Director General of Investment Promotion at Invest Hong Kong, Mr. Stephen Phillips, and the head of Start Me Up Hong Kong, Ms. Jane Chan. For any new startup that's sort of even coming into the game, how is it that you go about, you know, trying to get their attention onto, to focus their attention onto the Greater Bay areas? Well, I think it's a natural thing, actually, because um, the market in Hong Kong is a great market, yeah. but it's only 7.3 million people. So almost any company that operates in Hong Kong is always going to be looking at opportunities to outside the city. Sure. Um, China is the big carrot for most companies, mm. um, but the Greater Bay Area provides this high level of focus um, that is so easily accessible um, from Hong Kong. Nice, very good. Anything you want to add, Jane? Yeah, I was just going to add that, um, you know, specifically on the hardware tech side, actually, sure. we're seeing a lot of companies from overseas coming mm -hmm. to set up in Hong Kong and actually developing a lot of the ideas, the design yeah. and, you know, all that um, initial development in Hong Kong yeah. and then going to Shenzhen or Guangzhou um, to actually do the rapid prototype, yeah. do that iterative kind of very quick kind of processing. It's interesting you yeah. should say that because I've had conversations with my friends randomly who have yes. recently gone to Shenzhen and they're like, it's de it's developed, it's really tech focused, yeah. you know, and it's something it's, that... Yeah, yeah, it's an amazing yeah. innovation center, sure. frankly. And I think Shenzhen, with that kind of capability, yeah. as well as the, you know, the facilities in terms of small batch manufacturing, sure. as well as a large scale manufacturing and logistics kind of infrastructure setup. Yeah. Plus Hong Kong with its international know-how, as Stephen mentioned, the rule of law, and the fact actually that you can actually access both Chinese, mainland Chinese, as well as international social media, which is oftentimes how startups actually yeah. start marketing their products. Sure. It's hugely important. And you know, they, they do a lot of the hardware or development in China and southern China yeah. and the GBA. 
and then they bring it back to Hong Kong and basically, you know, integrate all these different components together and market it through Hong Kong. Mm. And one thing we shouldn't actually forget, actually, one of the things that um, startups mentioned to me, one of the reasons they're in Hong Kong is the fact that you've got obviously the access to the, the Greater Bay Area, yeah. but Hong Kong's quality of life actually is it's hugely important. You know, you've got it's you know quite basically. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there are options actually. There are definitely options, but the food is fantastic. You've got the mountains, the sea, the beaches. That's hugely that important is so for close startups. to one another. Exactly. As opposed to back at home in Johannesburg, everything is so far apart. For all of you who didn't get the opportunity to be part of Start Me Up Festival and missed out on all the fun, don't be in despair. We have got you covered with all the best moments featured at the conference. The Connected Cities Conference, driving Hong Kong's transition to build a smarter and greener city. Hosted by KPMG, the conference fostered the development of smart cities in the greater China region, showcasing innovations from the next generation of city living to enhance livability, workability, and sustainability. Allocating new funds to support innovation and addressing the land use issues are keys to fulfill residents' expectations on livability. Expanding the use of data and analytics to improve the effectiveness of service delivery Increasing collaboration between public sectors in the development and application of smart city solutions for greater sustainability. It's all about co-creation, collaboration and connectivity. Uniting the brightest minds in the healthcare at the HealthTech O2O Summit. Ever heard of digital therapeutics? The hot new topic at HealthTech O2O Summit by NextChange, giving us a glimpse of new tech in healthcare. Dr. Eugene Baruchovic, Global Head of Digital Health at Bayer, spoke about digital therapeutics that deliver evidence-based therapeutic interventions to patients that are driven by high-quality software programs to prevent, manage, or treat medical disorder or diseases. This gives patients, as well as healthcare providers, the opportunity to easily access tools that deliver meaningful clinical results. Meet the strongest fashion tech visionaries at Tech Lifestyle Conference. Hosted by Startup Launchpad and the Mills Fabrica, the Tech Lifestyle Conference explores the innovative lifestyle technologies that are revolutionizing the way people live, work and play. Did you know that the clothing industry makes 10% of carbon emissions and remains the second largest industrial polluter, second only to oil? Fashion for Good, the most exciting participant at the conference, is the world's first fashion museum dedicated to sustainable fashion innovation. They brought together the entire fashion ecosystem by collaborating with big brands and showed us how to fight against issues such as recycling and creating a safer and healthier environment. Well, there you have it, our top three picks we thought you should know about. So what are your thoughts on these highlights and which one was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. One of the main highlights of the entire Stop Me Up week was the much celebrated startup that dominated at the festival's newest pitch competition called Jumpstarter, as well as the Kaleidoscope Lab pitch competition hosted by Hong Kong and Shanghai Hotels. meets innovation. It's a chance for us to sit with people and work with people that we will probably never really get the chance to be with. All eyes were on Air Luna that smashed its competitors and won both Jumpstarter and the Kaleidoscope Pitch competition. Described as a lamp that breathes, Air Luna uses nanotechnology to eliminate pollutants at a microscopic scale. Way to go, Air Luna! So we invited the CEO of Air Luna, Muike Noshita, to our studios for a behind-the-scenes chat and find out more about this one-of-a-kind product that is disrupting the hospitality industry. Tell us now, what was, what sort of sparked this idea that is Air Luna? How did you come up with it? Oh, actually, we have this 
uh, idea after a very big incident in Hong Kong, a fire accident in 2016. Oh my. Yeah, at that time, the fire just long stop burning for 72 hours. Oh wow. So it just caught everyone's attention sure. at that moment and the smoke is coming out. Yeah. And so we started to look at the problem from mm -hmm. the air because the toxic air Absolutely. coming out from, from the fire incident actually affects the community at that time. Sure. And yeah, and so me and my partner at that time, we wanted to do something different and we also want to do something to to help the That's community. Sure. So we think that air could be a very good direction because sure. everyone grief. And also when we check um, the news, yeah. when the toxic air come out, it actually affect community for absolutely, a couple of months. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. pollution, right? Yeah. yeah, so we started to look for technology mm -hmm. and very lucky we found Dr. Oscar Ho okay. from um, that time. He already like got a patent technology uh -huh. uh, from the City University. Sure. So that's how it began, yeah. Want to watch the full video? Check it out in the link below. That's a wrap. Thank you guys for tuning in and I hope you were entertained. If you, yes you, are a startup or an investor who wants to become famous, comment hashtag Tech Morning Show down below and we'll get back to you. Can't wait to catch you guys next time. Until then, keep innovating.